Here's the three things you need to consider when finding the best casino to play roulette at. Now don't worry, these aren't going to be three generic vanilla points that sound good, but in reality don't impact your winnings at all. Stuff like good customer service and fast withdrawals are all nice additions to have, but if you can find a casino that performs well in these three factors, then you'll happily wait an extra day for your money to land in your account. Now I worked in the casino industry for over a decade, working as a casino manager on a cruise ship and then working for one of the biggest online casinos in the UK. So I know what a good casino looks like and most importantly, some of the sneaky tricks they implement that you need to be aware of. I'm not exaggerating when I say this video could save you thousands of dollars. If you're short on time and just want to capitalize on the thousands of hours of research I've done, then you can simply complete the quick two minute quiz using the link in the description and I'll recommend the best casino for you based on your preferences and where in the world you live. Let's jump into these three factors. Number one, the house edge varies on different roulette games. To my community based in the United States of America, I'm sorry to tell you this, but your casinos have been royally screwing you for decades and they've not even been hiding it. I'm of course talking about the double zero wheel. This extra green number on the wheel essentially doubles the house edge so that they can take more of your money. If you simply move to a casino that offers a single zero roulette table, you have cut your probability of losing in half. And the good news is, playing at a double zero wheel is not something you have to put up with. I found online casinos available in every single country in the world that offer a single zero roulette table, even in the USA. My goal is that one day, casinos have no choice but to offer single zero roulette wheels because players refuse to be taken advantage of by casinos offering the double zero variation. But even my non-USA viewers, don't get too smug about playing at your single zero table. It's likely you are also playing at a roulette table that isn't offering you the best house edge. Subscribers to the channel will know that I talk a lot about finding a French roulette table and as an Englishman, it's not enjoyable to recommend anything French, but this variation does increase your probability of winning because of a couple of rule variations. The La Partage rule on the French roulette table means that when betting on the even chance bets, if the ball lands on zero, you will receive half your money back rather than lose it all. There's also the en prison rule, which is similar, but instead of receiving half your bet back, you can recoup your entire bet if you win the next spin. There is a massive difference in the house edge between these variations. It's 5.26% on the American version, 2.7% on the European, and if you're playing even chance bets, it's just 1.35% on the French version. So it's quite literally four times better to play French roulette over the American version. This is why I mention it in a lot of my videos. Number two is table limit ratios. Even some veteran roulette players don't seem to understand the importance of this and the impact it can have on your game. Now to be clear, I'm not just talking about the minimum bets that would suit players with smaller bankrolls. However, that is definitely something you should consider. If you only have $50 to play with, you definitely don't want to be playing at a table with $25 minimum bets. But in this point, I'm talking about the table limit ratios. This is the difference between the minimum bet and the maximum bet. And I'll explain in a minute why this is important to consider. So if you're at a roulette table and the minimum bet on even chance bets is $10 and the maximum bet is $100, then that would be a 10 to one ratio. That would be considered a poor ratio. And I would recommend avoiding those tables. As a generalization, an okay table ratio would be 50 to one. A good ratio would be 100 to 1, and I found some exceptional roulette tables offering ratios of up to 2,000 to 1. So the obvious question is, why do table limit ratios even matter? Well, if you're playing with no strategy and picking random numbers at whim, then table limit ratios don't matter, and you can go and play on the table with 10 to 1 ratios. On the other hand, if you're going to the roulette table with a betting system, that requires you to increase and decrease your bets depending on the previous result, then the probability of successfully profiting from that betting system will depend on your betting limit ratios. A perfect example of this is the Martingale system. On a roulette table with a 10 to one ratio, after losing four bets in a row, you wouldn't be able to increase your bet any further and therefore your Martingale system is stopped in its tracks and becomes a loser. On the other end of the spectrum, when playing at a roulette table with 2,000 to 1 table limit ratios, 
you would have to lose 11 times in a row before you hit the maximum bet. It's not just the Martingale system where table ratio limits are important. Fibonacci, Oscar's Grind and the D'Alembert, they all perform best on tables with high limit ratios. Number three is casino bonuses. Now this is something that some online casinos can be very sneaky with. And whilst I was working for an online casino in the UK, I would see many, many players fall victim to this, especially roulette players. And I'm not simply talking about how much bonus money they offer you to play. I'm talking about how much of that bonus money you can realistically cash out and withdraw. Let me explain what I mean. With all casino bonuses, there are set rules and conditions you have to complete before that bonus money turns into real money and you can withdraw it into your bank account. Which is fair enough, if casinos didn't set these conditions, then every man and his dog would sign up, take the bonus money, cash it out and leave. The most popular condition casinos implement are what's called wagering requirements. And this isn't the sneaky part, I'll go into that in a moment. Now wagering requirements are pretty common and most players have come to expect this when receiving a bonus. A general rule of thumb to consider is if a casino bonus has less than 50 times wagering, then you have a reasonable chance of turning those bonus funds into cash. Whilst on the hunt for the best casinos, I've seen bonuses that at first glance are extremely enticing, only to then realise there's a hundred times wagering requirements needed to turn the bonus into cash. But as a roulette player, the actual wagering multiplier isn't the main thing you should be considering. In many online casinos, playing table games like blackjack and roulette doesn't actually contribute to the wagering requirements to unlock your bonus. Or if you're lucky, only a small percentage of the bet is contributed. For example, the online casino I used to work for had a really good welcome bonus with just 30 times wagering. However, only 10% of your roulette bets contributed to the wagering requirements. Which means, if you're a roulette player, you needed to wager your casino bonus 300 times before you could withdraw it. Now, I have been searching high and low to find a casino where your roulette bets are 100% contributed towards unlocking your bonus. It's not that easy to find, and depending where in the world you live, I'm not even sure there is one available to you. That's where I'd like to ask for your help. We are growing the smartest community of casino players from all over the world, so please share your own casino recommendations in the comments below so that others can check them out for themselves. I've done my best to find the top selections, but I'm wise enough to know there may be some that I have missed. If you want to play at those top selections that meets the criteria mentioned in this video, as well as being recommended by the community, then click on the link in the description, tell me a little bit about your gaming preferences, and I will do my best to point you in the direction of the perfect casino for you. If you want to take your roulette game to the next level, I recommend watching this video next as I explore one of the most popular roulette strategies in the world.